What is going on guys? Welcome to Road to Sub 3. I bet you clicked on this video very confused because this for now is going to be taking place or kind of exchanged with my Road to Sub 20 video, um, which is me averaging, you know, 12 solves on a 3x3, seeing if we can get sub 20. Uh, newsflash, I can't get sub 20. We did, wow, what, like 21, 22 episodes. Um, I got faster for like a month or two and then ended up getting slower actually somehow. So I've been pretty unmotivated to make those videos. I'm like, I'm putting all this time in practicing um, and then, you know, getting absolutely nowhere at all with this. So I was pretty frustrated. So we're going to take a little break from that for now. We are trying to get road. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to get sub three. I'm sorry, sub three with the five by five. I know a couple of you guys wanted to see a bigger cube series. So here we are. And again, I am probably the worst five by five solver of all time. You guys are probably laughing at me because you can, you know, get a minute and a half on five by five. Actually, that brings me to a new uh, point here. Comment your five by five, you know, PB in the comments. Cause I'm curious to see like what a normal five by five time is. So go ahead, comment that, um, and then go ahead while you're commenting, leave questions for next week for me to answer here. And before we do get into last week's questions, I just want to make a comment. I am not doing a 12 solve average on this. That would take absolutely forever to do every single week. And I wouldn't have as much time to respond to you guys' comments or make short. So I'm just doing two solves here today. Um, neither of them were anywhere close to sub three, but I used to average around 315 to 320. Um, so hopefully once I knock the rust off on my five by five abilities, you know, then we'll get closer averages to, you know, three minutes. And then we'll have time to do maybe three solves. And then once we get better, we can do four solves per video. And, you know, we just keep adding more solves from there. So Anyway, you guys are sick of hearing me yap, so we are going to answer some questions from last week. Myths, Memories, Micah. I have an idea for you. Make a series where you solve cubes with your subscribers. This would be really cool. I'd absolutely be down. I would absolutely be down. Um, but I'm kind of confused at how this works. Do you guys want me to go to competitions and see if I can find subscribers and solve? Do you guys want me to... Um, you know, like hop on a Zoom call with my subscribers and do a couple solves or race. Um, you know, I'm uncertain how this would work. So again, just an idea, but let me know in the comments if you know how this would work or, you know, how you'd want it to work. Cube Kid 11 do you know full OLL on the 3x3? Three three? Uh, also, what's your favorite baseball team and who is the best cuber in my opinion? Um, I do not know full OLL. I know full two look OLL and then a couple cases from the full thing. Um, but I'm kind of focusing first. I want to know full PLL um, and get all of those cases down, get my recognition really good with that on the three by three, and then I'll continue learning OLL. I, I think it just makes more sense for me that way. There's less algorithms in PLL. Um, and then, you know, I'm fairly close. I've just got a couple algorithms left. And then, you know, like I still need to work on my identification, like especially with G perms and stuff. But you guys, I'm sure you absolutely know the feeling. Uh, my favorite baseball team is the Royals. And then the best Cuber, in my opinion, I am a huge Felix Zemdigs fan. He's kind of went away the last couple years, which is really sad to me, but I grew up watching, like, you guys are watching on YouTube, like Max Park, uh, stuff like that. You know, I grew up watching Felix Zemdig's uh, compilations and seeing him solve, which was super cool. You know, you get hyped when Worlds would come around and um, you get all the new videos of him, like, breaking all these crazy average records and stuff. So I love him the most. He's probably not the best Cuber in the world uh, anymore, but I really like him. Stardust Cubing, have you been to a competition? If so, how many and what do you normally do to prepare? Man, I haven't been to a competition in maybe nine years. It's been a really long time, guys. So I don't really remember what I did to prepare. I don't think that 
uh, I did do any preparing actually. Um, cause I went more to, you know, make cuber friends in the area and talk with people about cubes. Cause that's not something you normally get to do. Cause you know, let's say you're going to school, maybe only like two or three people in the entire school know how to solve the Rubik's cube and they're probably not your best friends. So maybe they are, maybe I'm wrong, but you don't normally get to just talk cubes with people. So I always just went, make some good friends, talk with people a ton. I had a good time doing that. Um, so I didn't really ever prepare, but you know, I did still compete in it. THR 2024. Do you think you will be able to reach sub 15 in the next five years? I also recommend sticking to a single cube that you set up in your favorite way instead of doing many other cubes without your main. Um, man, let's let's answer the second part first. Um, the Road to Sub 20 video that you commented this on was the one where I used an RS3M V5 to kind of switch it up. Uh, that is like the first video I've done that in maybe like six months. I've been maining uh, the same cube for a very long time. So that was more of a one-off um, video, but I will take that into consideration. Um, do I think I can be sub 15 in the next five years? You know, at this point, it's seeming like it would take about five years to get to that point because I don't practice a lot. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm very stuck at where I'm at and learning the new algorithms have not helped me at all. Um, I, I think I just need to get used to like identifying them and solving them quickly, but I just don't have the time anymore to be able to do that. But if I had like unlimited time, you know, I could just come home every day and solve cubes. I could probably be sub 15 in maybe six months, but unfortunately reality has not played that way for me. So I guess maybe it will take around five years. Final question from Blocks. He sucks at Roblox. Uh, how do I confirm if I am sub 30 since I keep going back to sub 40 after becoming sub 30? Um, if you keep like getting 40 second solves, I don't think that's a bad thing. Maybe you just had a tough solve. Um, I don't know if you guys all remember like when you were around 30 to 40 seconds as a cuber, but occasionally you'd have bigger gaps like between your solves than you probably do now. So I don't think 40 seconds is bad at all, but really to confirm it is what, what you want to do is sit down one day for a couple hours and do an average of 100, 100 solves in a row without getting up and just see what your time is. That is going to kind of filter out all of the inconsistency and maybe you are sub 30, you know, maybe you're like 32 seconds, but doing a hundred solves in a row will give you like the absolute best look at like what you average, I guess. So that's what I've always done. Um, I think it works well. I know a couple other people do that. So um, maybe just sit down, do that. And then I'm curious, Bloxy, go ahead and comment what you got because I'm very intrigued at how you became quick so fast. So very interested. Again, leave your comments for next week because I don't have a lot to answer. Um, so the video is slowly ending here as I am finishing up my last solve. But I appreciate you, all you guys for all the support you guys have given on these videos. It makes me want to go ahead and keep doing them. And I'm actually looking forward a lot to uh, doing this again next week. So again, appreciate y'all for watching. Enjoy the rest of the solve and have a good one. Peace.